Okay, I'm Yvonne. Um, I'm one of the tutors at the Cotswold Academy. And today what I'm going to talk you through is just going to talk a bit about menopause and how we can apply that on to the feet when we're giving reflexology. Obviously menopause, we're going to be focusing on women today as I'm demonstrating on my feet. Um, and it's all about asking and helping your client to relax as you're doing your treatment for menopause. So if we just talk about menopause first, so you've got lots of different things that happen with menopause and everybody's journey is going to be different as you're going through the menopause. So we've got, you know, some women are going to experience hot flushes, you know, the common ones, or you've got, um, sometimes you can get, you know, even problems with your teeth feeling sore, you can get digestive issues, your skin gets drier, we don't have as much support in our skin uh, as we lose our estrogen and our support, our collagen. So all of these are natural processes, but of course it doesn't always feel great when we're having to go through the menopause. So what we can do as reflexologists is really help with the endocrine system because it's your endocrine system that's making those changes happen. So what we'd really like it to happen is a nice gradual process through the body. But unfortunately, our body has a different view of it and it tends to be a little bit more erratic. So as a reflexologist, what we want to do is just try and smooth that along so it's not quite such a bumpy ride. So when I'm demonstrating the reflexology, what I'm going to do, I don't want you to change your routine. So you're going to do your routine exactly the same as it was before. So you can start with your relaxation, open up your meridians, and then just work your way through the reflexology as you've done before. But the extra bit, I'm going to give you some more focus on the endocrine system. And we're going to keep linking back to the endocrine system. Now, you might not have heard of the linking movements before. So it's a precision uh, reflexology technique where we get different parts of the body to talk to each other. So instead of being more erratic and communicating their own way, we're going to steady that down. So it could be with hot flushes, we've got to think about why we're having the body's having hot flushes. So we can concentrate on the hypothalamus, which controls and regulates temperature in the body. We could maybe work on the thyroid, because that's going to work with our metabolism and keeping that a little bit steadier and link it in with the ovaries as well, because they're helping to balance all the endocrine system. So a big focus on the endocrine system. So we're going to be, I'm going to show you some of those endocrine techniques. So like I say, don't change what you're doing. I'm just going to add in techniques as we go along. So I'm going to show you that now. So I'm just going to show you uh, the warm up. Just start with the warm up and then we'll go through the linking techniques. Um, if you're an aromatherapist, you can also blend in essential oils to help with menopause. So I'm going to use geranium. So I'm just going to use a bit of balm here. I'm using the essence of small little balm. And then we can put in just a couple of drops I'm going to use geranium. I've got a bit in my hand. Smells so good. So one drop. So two drops, one per foot. Mix it into our hand. So with reflexology, it's all about um, thinking about what your client's needs are as well. So your good detailed consultation is going to be really important. So finding out how the menopause is really affecting them and how you want to help them in their reflexology, supporting their journey through their menopause. So it could be uh, post-menopause, menopause, perimenopausal. So any of those techniques, you know, your client will feel the changes in their body. So just starting with some relaxation. I want to get the body in a nice relaxed state. So if you just breathe in for me, and then breathing out, so we're going to do two or three breaths. And breathing out. It's a nice time for you to relax as well as a reflexologist. If you've had a busy day, it's all nice and calm. Just a little bit of the relaxation you might have learned already. So really warming up the client. You know, the client might have feelings when you're going through the menopause. Your feelings and emotions can become quite erratic as well. Your thyroid has a big impact on frustration and the feelings and storing of frustration. You might have heard um, people go through menopause that feel like they have kind of a rage inside their body. So actually, it's quite a good area to work is the thyroid. So working on those areas. Some people get brain fog. There's lots of talk about brain fog at the moment. 
So again, we can help to stabilize that, maybe get a little bit more focus. Just warming up the feet. Using our thumbs to open up the energy channels. So we've got the five lines and this is just going to help to, like I say, get the energy flowing. Just like you've been trained in reflexology, you might open up the channels differently. Don't forget when you're jumping up the channels, just maybe pop another five lines on the, the toe, particularly for endocrine, rebalancing, menopause. Just helps to clear the mind a little bit more, settle any worries. And then of course go to the other foot. So just a repeat of what you've done, nice and calm. Go through your zones again. So like I say, any form of relaxation techniques, start off with, especially if your client's quite stressed out from the end of menopause. Okay. So then when I come to the end of my warm up here and open the meridians, your energy channels, I start my reflexology with working the respiratory system. So I'd start with the nose, the mouth, working down the bronchial tubes, into the lungs, the diaphragm. So working all those areas. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start engaging the endocrine system. So instead of waiting to only just use, go through it once, we're gonna do that in between each system. So I'm not gonna go through each system as I do, but just how to work the endocrine system. So there might be a few different techniques. Pull that foot up nice and warm. So we're going to work through your respiratory system, which is where I start. And then we're going to start on the endocrine system. So a lot of it's based in the head area. So again, don't worry if the placements are different to how you've been trained. Just work your endocrine system, the placement where they are. I'm going to start off with the hypothalamus. So just nice firm grip of the big toe. Walk up onto the hypothalamus. And we're just going to thumb walk onto there might feel a bit spiky for your client, especially with hot flushes or you know the big endocrine. There's lots of stress um, in the endocrine system, nervous system. And then we can just pulse onto that point. Just checking with your client, they can be a bit sore. I'm now gonna move over to the pineal gland. I'm gonna walk up to there. So I'm thumb walking over the top. I'm gonna press in and release pressing in and release. And we're gonna repeat that through the endocrine system. So the pituitary gland, gonna move up to the pituitary gland. So this one has a big part, doesn't it, in our endocrine system, lots of different functions in the body. So press and release, press and release. I'm gonna go down to parathyroids. These are important um, as you get over the age of 50 as our calcium levels can get a little bit more erratic, the onset of osteoporosis in menopausal women, and the little parathyroids help to balance your calcium level. So again, we're gonna press and release. So you'll notice I'm pulling the foot onto the thumb. Instead of me using all my thumb pressure, so weakening my thumb, I can use the force of the foot going onto my thumb instead. Then we've got this nice big area here for the thyroid and the thyroid helper. So this one, like I say, if somebody's got lots of feelings of frustration, anger, this is a really good area to work. 
right through here. If their energy is really low, as again, as we get over the age of 40, our metabolism starts to change, it slows down. Do the work around there. Down to your uh, adrenals in here. So I'm just gonna slide up into the adrenals. You know when you found them, they feel a bit spiky with your client. I'm gonna press in. If you're okay comfortable wise, you can then bring the foot over onto the adrenal point. So wherever you locate the adrenal point is absolutely fine. Just wanting to work it a little bit harder. Again, your adrenal gland changes as you're moving through the menopause. So we're gonna press and release and press and release. And I'm gonna go down a little bit further and onto the ovaries. So on the outside of the foot in this area here, so right in the center of this line, ovaries, I'm going to put the finger here and we're just going to rotate. So we're using the force of the uh, client's foot again to just rotate onto here. It can feel quite tender, so just be careful with your clients. So we're just going to rotate on there and we're going to hold and release and hold and release. So we're really waking up the endocrine system, helping to settle the endocrine system. So we're going to do that each time between the systems. So then maybe you'd go on to the musculoskeletal system, you're gonna work the musculoskeletal system and then work the endocrine system as well. So you're really engaged in the endocrine system, which is the big part that changes when you have to go through the menopause. So working through those, do the endocrine system, move on to your next system. Um, if you're a reflexologist that's been trained to work down the foot, then do your zone one endocrine system, zone two endocrine system, zone three endocrine system, work your way down that way instead. So now we come on to um, working with these linking techniques. So I'm just going to hop onto the other foot to 